Do -de do 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 do. Oh, oh, hello there, guys. Welcome back to another video. Yes, we are back with crying today. This is episode 32. I am your host, Do Conrad One, and I am excited to uh, bring you some more updates to this castle of castles. This this uh monument to power in this region uh, but yes crying has progressed just a little bit since our last update not really too much going on um, just a few little few little things or or is it a few little things yes we have progressed a lot since our last update there is a lot to see and I'm gonna go ahead and show you the bird's eye view right now. So you can see sort of what is going on and what the plan is. So what you can see here is we've added in stables right here. I feel like this is a pretty good spot for stables. It can hold 40 horses and it's a pretty direct route right to the gate here. So honestly, that's like a fairly perfect spot for stables and on top of that, I really like how we design the stables here. It really, really works out. I'm not finished them at this point, but hopefully by the time this video is over, um, we will have progressed quite a while and have finished this up. And we have a friend here. Um, let's see. Who is it? Charmelin! Charmelin's in the video. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, he's just flying around having some fun. But yes. So um, what we're going to be doing is a lot of things and I guess the biggest thing that you guys will notice is the palace portion here. I changed up my plan for this. I originally was going to put the garden and all of that over with the palace. But now I've decided to just to go ahead and put the garden here closer to the main castle. Um, I will get to that soon. So I decided to put the, the sort of the palace gardens and stuff here. There will be, um, like the terrain's gonna be built up to this and there will be a portion of this where it sort of comes out and there's going to be some buildings over here, maybe a courtyard, maybe an inside garden, like a greenhouse of sorts. I'm not sure if you guys are familiar with um, Winterfell over on game the Game of Thrones servers Westos craft they have this really neat greenhouse uh, that just looks fantastic and I'm gonna try to make something of that nature over there as well and then maybe like a couple buildings around just like a you know just make it palacely looking you know palaces usually have gardens and things and you know it's sort of right here is sort of a palace kind of thing going on you know you have the gardens and such and I, I like this uh, this is not going to be what it looks like this was just a test I'm probably just gonna remove all this um, this is gonna be a different design we're going to be uh, working on that a good bit but as you can see this is sort of going to be the wall that's going to surround the garden pretty fancy it's it's fairly fancy it's not like uh, it's not supposed to be like uh, run down or anything because obviously being a palace and being crying, of course, uh, it's supposed to be fairly fancy and um, it's almost having like this elven look. I kind of like it with the little uh, arches like that. And then you got this moat going through. I kind of want to work on this a little bit more. I feel like there should be a way for water to get through all the way through. I think I might just put like arrow slits here because we don't want water backing up in these little channels in between each of these buttresses holding up the wall. So that is that. Um, so the causeway, this is more or less the main way to get into uh, the palace here. So you'd come over this drawbridge, you'd come up this causeway, and then there would be a drawbridge here, all right? Then you'd go into this tower thing that's gonna be here. And then there's going to be another drawbridge that heads into the castle. Now, speaking of the palace, um, this is actually recycled from the Sea Spire Castle that we were going to build on Sea Bridge. If you guys remember this, I don't think I actually made a video or when I was recording on YouTube or anything, I don't think I've re actually recorded any of this on YouTube. So this might be the first time you've ever seen this. Now, 
what we're going to be doing with it is uh, I just decided, you know, might as well use it. It has this annoying light bug over here. I, you gotta fix it each time, but I, I really like the design. I think it fits. I mean, overall, it fits the uh, the seat or the crying style. Granted, it's massive, but I think that we can work with it. Um, we can put the terrain up to it and everything. I think it's really going to work out. Uh, we just got to we just got to work with it. That's really all there is to it. Um, I'm also planning on extending this building out. Um, people really want me to keep this tower. I kind of want to remove it, but I'm not going to because there's a lot of people that really want me to keep it. So I will keep it, just extend the building, make it more like a tower in the middle of the building. I, I don't know, I might manipulate it, we'll see. So this over here, you'll notice, is the new barracks section of the castle. Um, I really wanted a drill square, a place where the soldiers can marshal, prepare for war, all kinds of different things. Also, they can practice. You know, typically castles have a fairly large open space to to marshal um, and to sort of, uh, you know, just a large open space. And I figured that it would be a nice spot to put it right there um, to add on to this portion of the castle because obviously we already have the barracks here. So basically this whole front part of the castle from there all the way over to here is all barracks. So this is a very military focused castle. I mean, obviously castles are supposed to be comfortable as well, but that's what the palace back here is for. That's what that um, is more or less for back there, is for being the comfort of crying. And so there will, uh, I'm gonna sort of show you guys kind of why I designed this castle this way. There are five fingers. There has to be a official term for what I'm trying to say here, but there are five fingers. One, two, three, four, and five. All have overlapping fields of fire between each. Now the reason why I did that is because I made the banner into like this. Well, actually I did this and then I was like, you know what, let's do that finger kind of thing. Um, and so what we did is we made it so there's five fingers. So I decided that we'd make this the official banner we might change this up a little bit, but this is more or less what I have for right now, the official banner of crime. Um, there's going to be some meaning behind it. Uh, five is going to mean something. The, the sort of cross idea is going to mean something. The white and red, etc. There will be some meaning behind it, but overall I'm fairly happy with it. And as you can see, we've been using custom scripts. I'm going to show you guys custom scripts later in the video. Um, I'm going to show you kind of how I do this. And it's pretty simple if you know it. It's a plugin. Um, and actually, I might just make a custom script video of its own. It might be more helpful so that you guys can just uh, reference that video versus trying to search your way through crying videos to try to find the custom script tool uh, that I will post eventually. But overall, I think that's pretty much it for right now as far as updating is concerned. Oh, there is one more thing. I removed this tower right here. I didn't like it. You'll notice that before there was this round tower right here. I just removed it and I put in um, the dormers up there and everything. I like this a whole lot more. Whole, whole lot more. I like that um, just because it, you know, it doesn't take up so much room. Like before we had that tower and it was just like, it felt like kind of off place, just kind of thrown in. Um, but now there is more room there and it just feels it feels cleaner and that's kind of what I'm trying to change crying into is a little bit of a cleaner style versus being so messy and just like all over the place you also notice that I removed that porch there um, there was another one of those right there I removed that because I just felt like it didn't work um, and I think again I'm gonna say I think that that's all for right now if there is any more updates of course I will show you guys um, that later on but let me show you through these uh, staples really fast so you guys can check this out so this is sort of the design I'm going for um, we'll go over here and I'm going to show you kind of like the door design I'm going for um, so this you'll see is what we're actually oh, no we're not going for that I decided I didn't want to do the double doors I want to do this just one little door at the bottom um, the reason why you have to do this is because uh, this takes a while to do um, this is actually just the bottom half of a door 
And in order to do this, um, you have to be on the Raven.org server first. Okay, chat's off. Um, and this is kind of a tricky thing that you would have to do here. But uh, what you have to do is you take a door, you take a block on top, all right? And then, so this is the Everything on Everything plugin. And there are similar plugins out there, but the Everything on Everything plugin is not available for you guys. Um, but basically, you just copy the bottom half of the door and you place it on top. Now, technically, you don't even need to place that. Um, if you want to place one on top, then that's what you have to do. So you take that, the bottom half, and you place it on top. And then you got to kind of switch that around to get the hinge on the right side. And then say if you want something like this over here so that you have two doors on top you just gotta place a block on top of that and then you take that door oh I'm sorry you take that door like that and you put this door like that now you'll notice you have invisible blocks up here I'm not sure if you guys can see that hitbox but there is an invisible block up there but that is how you make doors like this and it's pretty freaking awesome because you can use it for uh, you know they open horizontally something that is not vanilla you know you're not able to get this vanilla in Minecraft um, but this is fantastic so if you're on the Raven server and you want to be able to use these kind of doors that's how you do it um, again I'm going to show you really quick you just take the bottom half of the door and you copy it to the top and then say if you want to make it too high whoops go and say if you want to make it too high bam all done all right so uh, I'll just take those out later there's probably some invisible blocks here there are there we go there we go all the visible blocks are gone now but yes this is the style of the stables this is what we came in here anyway for um, I really like it I think it turned out pretty good again it can handle 40 horses I guess the more royal horses will be in this nicer stable at the end and then more of the war horses and such will be all along these normal buildings here and on top I guess will be more or less hay storage things like that hay lofts and then maybe over on this one maybe a place for the stable boys or I'm um, not quite sure because uh, there's like nice windows up here. It feels like a pretty nice place. Obviously, it still would kind of stink being that the um, horses would be crapping down below, but uh, it is what it is. And I think that it looks pretty good. So there's going to be another Witcher style tower right here. That tower right there is going to be right there. But anyways, guys, I'm going to go ahead and cut it off now so um, we get some more time in this video. I don't want to make this video go too long. Um, the last one was fairly long, but, um, but anyways, I will be back with another update soon enough, and we can continue with Ekaterin. Okay, so one of the most important parts about a castle, or pretty much any build in, uh, Conquest, is texturing. Texturing is a huge, huge thing that, um, must be properly properly done now obviously I'm just kind of throwing it in right now I'm just adding in little patches of dark stone right here just along this wall uh, it's not gonna look good I'm not going to really get into depth on it but you know texturing is what's going to really bring it all together and speaking on that subject there has been a small addition to crying recently um, so you'll notice that all of this is different now I really really like this uh, it really adds in a nice little flavor to crying um, especially from above I like that I think it's looking much better from above now before um, this building right here it looked too symmetrical so that's why I took out one of these lengthwise stables I also changed the a-frame roof to a steep v-frame that's just what I call them I call it this a v-frame and then like say this right here would be an A-frame right here. Um, since A-frames aren't like used much in crying, usually it's the Gothic style or Nordic style V-frame roofs. I decided just to go ahead and change this to a V-frame, and I think it works much better. So now we have a courtyard here, and I really like how this turned out. We have stables for 41 horses. Um, I'll show you all the different places where they're going to be. There's five stables here. There's five stables there. That's ten. Wait, no, this is four. One, two, three, four. 
All right, so there's supposed to be another stable right here. Either that or I can make this kind of a little weird stable there. So that's supposed to be five stables there. I don't know why I accidentally uh, threw that up. But anyways, along this whole building right here, there are 12. There are 12 stables there. So five plus five, this is gonna be five eventually. So that's 10 plus 12 is 22. 22 plus, I think this is five here. One, two, three, four, five. 12 or 22 plus 5 is 27 and then 27 plus 14 because there's seven on each side 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 so 27 plus 14 would be 37 41 so yeah so that is it there's 30 there's 41 stables here for all the horses to enjoy I'm going to be doing this door design right here on the other side as well uh, remember I had shown you the way to make these doors. I decided just to make them one tall versus being the two tall. And uh, I think I actually told you guys that. But yeah, that's what I'm going to be doing here. And I think that looks really nice, just like that. Also, I added another Sun Fury here. This is what I call this as a, uh, the symbol of the Sun Fury. I'm not quite sure how that sort of like uh, adds into the lore or whatever of crying or this world. But I think it works. And I just like how direct the stables are from the gate. Like, they could just marshal here and then ride out to, to battle. Like, you can imagine, like, they, they would come through this gate or they would, you know, say, Ha ha, we are through the gate! And then they'd have, like, uh, archers here or whatever, or spearmen, swordsmen trying to charge in. And all of a sudden, here comes a contingent of cavalry coming through. Like, kind of like the Ride of the Rohirrim um, at Helm's Deep, the Lord of the Rings. How uh, you know how powerful cavalry is? They can just ride right out into an unexpecting army. You know the army is expecting to come in and the defenders to cower and to not really put up much of a fight. You know once they get through a certain stage of defense. But you know that's that's something that was pretty neat from uh, on Lord of the Rings. I like that part a lot. But yeah, just you know off that subject, we've gone ahead and added in quite a few things. This here is going to be. A place for the horse master um, a nice little home for him the horse master of crying will be a fairly uh, rich individual so that's why he has his own sort of large building complex here of sorts got a tower here and then we have several buildings here you got this one there and that one there this is going to be a bell tower right here um, just thought it'd be nice to have another bell tower. We have a bell tower up there, and then it would be nice to have one here as well. So, um, but yeah, that, those buildings are going to be for like stable hands and servants, some storage, maybe some craftsmen of sorts, who knows. Um, this over here, this building is going to be storage for all of the different um, materials needed for uh, horses. So like saddles, um, maybe, uh, you know, just think of all that kind of stuff, like armor for the horses, things like that would all be in this building. Um, all inside here would be, uh, you know, basically horse horse supplies and things. So, I also changed that wall up there. I like this design much more. It's much simpler. That's kind of what I wanted to go for. I felt like the other one was just a little bit too artsy, or maybe way too artsy for what I was wanting to go for. But uh, yeah, I like it up here much more. Um, we have this little bit of a parapet going on or uh, I'm pretty sure that's called a uh, it's not a hoarding what is this called up here guys um, I need to figure that out but it's a you see it on a lot of German bergs um, a lot of castles have this sort of thing where they have a stone machiculations like this and it kind of covers and they have like a little roofed bit up here but anyways i like that it's going to surround the whole garden i'm not sure if it should surround it on this side though because this side's facing the palace you don't really want this side to be defended so what i might do is just kind of wrap it around to maybe about here and then it will just be low crenellations all the way along here and then it will go back to that like over there along this side and all the way along here as well and such um, because we don't want to really um, impede the line of fire from up here on the castle you know you want to make it feel uh, very open wherever you can fire from the castle but um, but yeah the 
the palace up here has some good lines of fire like you can fire from pretty much anywhere so pretty cool I like that I'm gonna be changing this up the causeway that needs to I need to figure out a new way to do that I'm not quite happy with how that looks at the moment someone is here right now who is here there is a person here F1. The Jory Jort dude is here. I'm um, checking it out. But yeah, overall, I'm pretty I'm pretty happy with how this is looking. I need to continue working on the uh, uh, the texturing. Oh, and you guys will notice that I'm using a new stone. This is actually in the automatic updater. This will be in the next version of Conquest. For those of you that are watching, like long or long time ahead <laughs> this is already added into the pack however um for those of you that are watching like within a week or so this these this block still has not been added in but you guys will see that in a very soon update so uh make sure you stay tuned to conquest because uh it's a beautiful block i really like it it's really light and it really has a nice contrast value like i made all of that and then uh, I made this whole tower here speaking of this tower I really like this tower I saw this on a random um, now the roof of the tower that I saw was square but I made this more gothic looking because obviously the castle has a very gothic theme going on but I really like this It's a very Mediterranean style tower here but uh, I really think it works very well like it's a beautiful tower I really like it there and I the kind of the theme of crying is I just kind of add in a bunch of different towers because that's something that I, I love about castles is like looking through and seeing all the different types of towers. Now, I, I have so many round tower designs that I want to add in, but everything on crying is square. You know, you have the occasional round, like there's a round turret there, a round tower there, there's a round tower. I might even change this one to be something more square. I don't know. Um, you guys probably like that tower. I probably won't remove it, but uh, I, I will definitely keep a tower there. I like the tower there, um, but I might change it overall. I like this wooden bridge too. I really think that works. Um, like my wife, Lara, she really thinks that uh, this white, this bridge right here is, she thinks that's her, or she says that's her favorite part of the castle. So uh, I'll keep it there. But anyways, um, that is pretty much all the updating for now. We'll probably get a whole lot more done uh, by the next update and uh, get a lot more things to show. I'll probably be mu much more finished this whole area here. Um, this whole area needs a lot more detail and things. Right now, we just kind of get the, got the shape done. And I'm looking forward to adding detail into Cry. And that's going to be a huge step for this build is adding in all the little bit of details and little things like that to really... Um, make it work now this here is not going to be um, thatch I'm going to I got to change this in fact let me go ahead and do that right now while we're on screen and while I remember because if I don't do it now I will most likely forget to do it later and uh, then we'll see it again on another segment of video and I say I said I was gonna do that but I didn't do that but anyway that's kind of what I had in mind um, there will be a little bit better obviously um, like little storage rooms in here or something. I don't know. We'll figure something else something out for there But uh, this whole area is gonna look different I'm probably gonna figure out a way to connect these building uh, the wall to the building here I, I don't know and then there's gonna be a way from here to get down to this lower section of the wall I really like this. It's just like this extra line of defense down here where um defenders can go down and shoot from now this here I'm not quite sure why I added it in like that like why it's like I just like I just like it you know I, it doesn't really have a defensive value it just like it would make more sense to have something like this here because or like something like that there because this is closest to the terrain where the enemies can shoot from but I kind of like it. it adds in some asymmetry to that whole wall but I might, I might just give in and go ahead and build that all the way around that part. But um, yeah, so that is about it for now, guys. There is a lot more to be done, so I hope you guys are enjoying this video so far. Don't forget to hit that like button and that subscribe, because um, there will definitely be some more episodes of crying in the future. But uh, I'm not done this video yet, so I will see you guys soon. Hey guys, you should notice the difference already. I added in a bell tower right here, among with other things, um, and I think that that looks pretty good. 
I wanted a bell tower here. As you can see, I have one other bell tower over here, and I think there is another over here. Yes, there is one right here. However, I might change this. Might this might just become like a watchtower or something. And I think I'll make this into a like a large bell tower of sorts or something. Or bell tower in this vicinity, I think. I just think that that kind of works, you know, a bell tower here, here, and then some somewhere over in this vicinity there would be another. I think that would be pretty cool. Now, uh, you'll also see I did this courtyard here. We'll get that to that in a second. But for right now, I'm just going to show you this inner courtyard area. I'm pretty sure I didn't have this last... Maybe I did. I don't know. Um, last update, it's been a few days ago, so I'm trying to remember everything that I uh, added in or not. Uh, I added in these flags. I'm fairly certain that that's not... You guys didn't see that. And uh, the watering troughs... Some think that this one's a little too close to where the horses are, but that's still two block spacing right there. I think that that's pretty good. I don't think that that's really uh, impeding too much space there. And it's right around this courtyard. And I really like how this courtyard is looking. Some people would say that this looks a little too festive with those flags around, but I kind of want to, I kind of like this feel. You know, I feel very, it feels great. I think it feels great having sort of this festive feel to this courtyard thing going on here. I think that that looks pretty good. Now you'll also notice that they added in an extension to this part of the building here. Uh, and then there's like a porch underneath and then you have the different stables for all the horses. Two larger stables, two 3x3 three three stables there and then the two 2x3 two stables back there. Um, so I think that this looks pretty good. Also I changed this to White Tudor. Uh, the reason why I did that is because I really wanted white tutor on this side. It did not make sense to have, say, white tutor, or say, like, white tutor on this side, and then that wood texture over here. Even though the wood texture looked kind of good here, um, I just decided that it would make more sense to have the whole building the same texture, which makes sense, right? Right. Okay. Um, I think that's really all that there was added over here really not too much else uh, I guess we'll get a closer look at the bell tower real fast just kind of a little uh, look around it I like this tiered look it gave it a really nice um, a really nice look like I did the tiered look over here uh, what are some other tiered look buildings uh, or tiered look I don't think there is any others I think it's just oh there's like those little ventilators right here those are kind of tiered I guess I don't know I just think that that looks pretty good it's kind of gothic it looks gothic I think it looks good uh, I'll give it that uh, probably the bell will be down here or something and all these windows on the outside line up with the stairs and the floors and things so that's something I was trying to trying to do is trying to make sure that everything lined up all right so over to the garden now this is something that we worked on uh, usually palace gardens that's what this is it's more of the palace gardens and such are much larger than this and two they are much more much more organized you know it looks much more usually palace gardens feel very organized and all however due to the environment that we're building in which is very cramped <laughs> uh, cramped um, which is very I don't know it feels like this garden is limited <clears throat> the only way that I could really add more space if, if I move this back much more and I don't want to do that I want to keep this where it is uh, this is the palace of crying um, I'm looking forward to finally getting to that I think once I get to that it'll be after I've actually worked like once I get that over there looking something like this you know just kind of blocked in not really any detail or anything once I did, once I do that, I think that's when I'll start the palace, just kind of getting that blocked in and such, and hopefully get that looking good. But anyways, let's look through these palace gardens really quick, just kind of show you what's going on. So you walk up through this main causeway here, and you walk up through here and you have this, like, walkway that goes straight to the palace, like so. I might have to move the palace over a little bit. Uh, even though this is a four by road here, and that's an even building. I, I guess I really don't, it do, really doesn't matter if I move that over or not. But anyways, I'm not quite sure about these flower pots. Maybe less flower pots, possibly. I don't know. 
we'll work on that later on. So you come into here, you got yourselves like this little monument thing here. I really like that idea. Some would say that looks phallic, but nah. I like it. Looks pretty cool. You look to the left here, and this here is like a little outdoors dining area. I feel like it could look better. Like there could be more fancy stuff out here, so I might work on this a little bit more. Like especially the table and things. I feel like this area could, in general, look a lot more sophisticated than what it is right now. You come over here, you got a serene pool to sit around and watch the water flow or whatever they do. You know, this would be a good place to read a book or something right there, I would think. And then let's come over here. And when I think of old people or I think of adults and things, I think of chess. And usually you see like in city parks, things like that, you'd see these chess tables where they would play like outdoor chess in the parks. And I really thought that was a good idea. I uh, have like a hawk here to that they that can keep them company or things, or maybe one of them is a falconer, and uh, you know maybe they used it to go catch rats or something. I don't know. Usually uh, falcons were a pretty good uh, pet, well at least in fantasy. Uh, hawks were typically used for catching pests. Same thing with owls, things like that in the medieval ages. Sending, me I'm not sure about sending messages. I don't think about sending messages, but. Yeah, stuff like that. I have a little apple tree here. And then over here, I have a statue to Laris, which is the goddess of beauty. And so you can imagine this is probably where the, the queen and her fellow ladies, her uh, yeah, the servants or whatever, would come and worship Laris, the goddess of beauty, and uh, wish good health and beauty upon themselves. And then over here, we have a little, like... Um, A performance square so like this is stage can be taken down and they can make it like into a party square lots of tables and things like that and little events going around I was thinking like a little place to put drinks like a little bar over here or something but I like how this looks looks pretty cool I like it I like it a lot so anyways guys that's enough for this update I will see you guys on the next one so I started the barracks expansion, and I like how it's looking personally. I really enjoy the German style that's sort of being incorporated into this. Looks very gothic, I can see that. And uh, I, I like adding in like little interesting things, like this little platform down here. I really wanted to add that in, because you can imagine like during a wartime, there could be catapults and things set along here to fire down that way. And then there could be archers all along this area shooting through these arrow slits down on the enemy. Stuff like that. I just think that this is pretty pretty cool right here. And then the buildings themselves, pretty good. Um, still working on trying to fit it in and work it all together, but I think that it's coming along. I removed all that section right there. Going to be working on that next stream. And I also extended this some more. And I like how that looks. I've been wanting to do that for a while, and finally we we did it, so um, by the next update, hopefully we'll have most of this kind of worked out, this over here, and try to figure out this awkward space right there. Something's not going, you know, something's not working right there, so I think I might add in a tower or something of that nature, so we will see, and uh, I... We'll be working on that actually now so again guys if you guys have um or if you guys want to watch me stream or want to watch me build crying uh twitch.tv is where you're going to find me building this uh the link to my twitch is in the description below come on over check it out because that's that's where that's the only place i really build crying and then the occasional i build it on my own here and there but uh, but yeah I usually only build while I'm streaming, so uh, hopefully you guys can come over and check that out when I do. Uh, there is no set schedule, so you'll just have to catch me when I stream. But uh, yeah, that's all there is for this update, and I am looking forward. I think the next update will finish up this video, and uh, we'll get, uh, get some more done. So, see you guys. Alrighty guys, so there has been some updating since the last update portion of this video. We have worked on the barracks, we finished up that portion right there, and we have added in this chapel here. 
it's not done yet obviously but I have the basic idea and it works out fairly nicely I think I like how when you walk in through here you look up and there's a chapel and this is actually a really cool part right here is this undercroft that goes underneath the chapel there's going to be like a way to get in right here and then like you can be underneath the chapel here we still got to redo the cellars underneath but I think overall it works pretty well and especially this part right here I really like this kind of like a kill box thing I don't know what you would call it but it goes straight up and then you can walk across the bridge um, to the palace now we will be most likely changing the palace making it into something more unique or not more unique but um, that's pretty unique in itself I think but uh, we'll be doing our own thing there instead, instead of copying over from Seabridge, um, the Seaspire Castle Keep. That's what that was supposed to be. But yeah, um, we're going to be working on some more of this area. Um, this is actually the end update for this video, but I think overall this earned, turned out pretty good. Like especially this shot right here. Like check that out. I like that. I love this view. I'll be working on this in some more. Uh, there's definitely going to be some more work done here. I added in some dormers up here Also up here like not these are uh, Like ventilators so that the air can get out the top here. These are some garden dormers or squints some of you may know them as either of those names and uh, Then I have some stone dormers here. I think that gives that building a much more imposing look I think um, this is kind of like what the floors are gonna look like so you have a four tall three tall and then you have the attic up top And I love how the tower works over here that square tower how it sort of uh, it Combines all three of those buildings and then we have our square flat roof tower or not fl flat tower up here I really like how this turned out as well and you have a little stair turret this is going to have stairs coming up to here so you can walk out on the porch and look out and shoot down, do whatever you need to do. And you got a flag up there, which I think is pretty cool. I like how that looks. And we're going to have another little flat area coming out from this part, and that's going to have another flag on it. So I'm going to try to have a flag on each of the fingers. If someone knows what I should call these things, like each part where the castle comes out, if we fly up here, you'll be able to see what I'm talking about. But as you can see, there's that finger there, then there's that finger, that one, that one right there, and then that tower right there. So it's all these overlapping fields of fire. So what are those called? The fingers. I just call them fingers because it's five and a hand has five fingers. So something like that, I guess. But let's go into the chapel really quick. Uh, by the way, again, this is a new stone. You guys will see that in the next Conquest update. Or if you're watching this late enough, maybe it's already in. But inside the chapel, you got the big old windows on either side. It's very atmospheric in here, I think. I like the windows. I'm trying to figure out what colors I want to make them. Red and white, or red and gray seem to be what I'm going to try to go for. Nice tall bell tower here. And again, we have the barracks. I really like having this ornate wood apex of these towers not sure what that's called but I have that over here as well an ornate kind of wood and then we have red wood over here I like that and also these inlaid Tudor stone dormers I really like that and then you have the Tudor back behind here and those flower pots really make it look a bit a bit better than it would without the flower pots and an overhang I thought that would be a cool idea and uh, over here, I have a Castle Black style stairway. I'm not sure if you guys are familiar with Game of Thrones, but on Castle Black, there is this kind of a stairway where you can walk up one stair and you walk up either side. And then this is where the general, uh, or if we're looking at Game of Thrones theme, the Lord Commander would stand up here and address the troops in a formation down below. This is actually a pretty defensible area, I think. I really like this. There has to be something more here. We're gonna be working on this a lot more. Obviously, there's gonna be a lot more here uh, as time comes. There's a lot of open space inside. Um, this is actually going to be where the stairs are gonna go. Let me go ahead and turn on one setting to super secret settings. There we go. Makes it a little bit nicer. Um, and we need a, there we go. 
So you come up here and this is going to be some stairways in here. So something more in here. Not quite sure what, how it's gonna turn out, but we gotta make it so that it comes up to this floor. Okay, so to this yellow or this orange line and this orange line. Very important because that's like the main ways to get up through the castle is this area right here. So there will be stairs in here and things like that. Lots of open space to work with, so I'm not too worried about that right now, but it will work out eventually. But yeah, this is the Scholar's Tower that we're in right now. And uh, I'm really happy that we changed this one to the chapel because... I think that's gonna look great and then we're gonna have a middle tower there right where this flat piece is I didn't finish this obviously <laughs> there's still a lot to be done I got to add in a lot more detail but I did work a lot on this area right here I think that looks pretty good along with this area I think that looks good too overall we worked on this section quite a bit and uh, there's a lot more to do on crying now something I really want to ask you guys is a quick question how can we make this channel more well known like how can we get a get Dukon Red One out there. Um, subscribers have been picking up slightly, uh, but we need to figure out how to get more um, more traffic to see the conquest, the power of conquest. Um, if you guys have any suggestions, I mean, I'm doing a little bit here and there, trying to figure out what I can do. But maybe you guys have like a secret or tips or something that you may have that uh, may help to get uh, this channel uh, more out there. I tried out Google AdWords, however, it's really, uh, it's expensive. It's like a dollar and something per click for the ad. Not really worth it, so I'm probably gonna pull out of that. But if you guys have any suggestions, let me know, and uh, I would be very appreciative of that. Um, so, yeah. But thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate um, your guys' support. Seems like you guys are really enjoying this crying series. Uh, crying keeps us expanding and expanding and expanding. And that is kind of the uh, idea here. I'm probably going to make this taller here. How tall does this go? We are at... Okay, what is this right here? 176. So this can go up to two. Yeah, we can definitely make this taller. I'm thinking about making the part where the palace is much taller here so that it goes up and then there's the palace up on top of a taller plateau going out into the ocean. I'm not sure what you guys think about that. That's going to be more or less a fantasy style terrain, but seeing how we're going with crying, I don't think fantasy terrain would stick out too much. So. Let me go. Let me know what you guys think in the description below and the comments below. Whatever, whichever. I don't know. And uh, so you guys have a great day or night, wherever you're from. Give me some suggestions. Leave me some feedback. I love to read your guys' comments. I really do. So, uh, yeah. I'll see you on the next one, guys. Don't forget that I have a Facebook and a Twitter. And, again, like I have said earlier in this video, follow me on Twitch because that is where I build crying. That is pretty much the only time that I really build crying is over on Twitch. So... If you guys want to see me actually build this for real, like actually me placing blocks and building this, um, go follow me over on Twitch. And yeah, that link is in the description below. So thank you guys for watching. I'll see you next time. Till then, bye-bye. Uh,